peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah dear audience today i am going to talk about rules of nahw in arabic if anybody talk in arabic before talking in arabic they will have to learn arabic grammar grammar is called in arabic nahw in this video we will learn about arabic grammar if anybody new here go to my channel click subscribe button and bell icon also if you want a more video like this so let's start rules of nahw ilm an nahw what is the definition of discipline of nahw nahw is the knowledge of the principles by which the states of the ending of words are known in the three parts of speech with regard to declension al arab construction albina and the manner of constructing one word with another what is called to whatever we speak in arabic what is called to whatever we speak in arabic whatever we speak is called word lafzun in arabic the term articulation lafzun refers to all words that are produced by the tongue how the words alfazun are made how the words alfazun are made words alfazun are made with alphabets huruf e tahji huruf e tahji how many alphabets are there in arabic language the arabic alphabet consists of 29 letters explain the types of word lafzun there are two types of word articulation first words that are meaningful kalimatun second words that are meaningless muhmal what is the definition of kalimatun words which are meaningful are called kalimatun for example kitabun means a book describe the types of kalimatun there are three types of kalima first the noun al ism second the verb al fa'l third the particle al harf what is the definition of noun al ism if a word signifies a meaning in itself and its meaning is not associated with one of the three tenses of time it as a noun for example muhammad name of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what is the definition of verb al fa'l if a word signifies a meaning in itself and its meaning is associated with one of the three tenses of time it as a verb for example jaa means he came what is the definition of particle al harf if a word does not signify a meaning in itself is called particle for example min means from describe the types of verb al fa'l there are three types of verb al fa'l the past tense verb al fa'lul mazi the present tense verb al fa'lul mudari the command verb al fa'lul amr what is the definition of past tense verb al fa'lul mazi the past tense verb al fa'lul mazi describes action or events that have already occurred what is the definition of present imperfect tense verb al fa'lul mudari the imperfect called mudari it refers to both the present and the future time for an incomplete action that is either in progress or to be completed in the future for example yaf'alu means he does or he will do what is the definition of command imperative verb al fa'lul amr the command imperative verb al fa'lul amr is used to demand an act for example if'al means do describe the types of al fa'lul mudhari the tense al mudhari 
कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट द प्रजेंट टेंस सेकेंड द फ्यूचर टेंस डिस्क्राइब द जेंडर ऑफ नाउन्स द वर्ड्स रिलेटेड टू द मेल सेक्स आर मेस्क्यूलिन मुदक्कर द वर्ड्स रिलेटेड टू द फीमेल सेक्स आर फेमिन मोनस फॉर एग्जाम्पल रजुल मीन्स अ मैन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इमर अतुन मीन्स अ वुमेन डिस्क्राइब द नंबर ऑफ नाउन्स अनलाइक इंग्लिश अरबिक हैज थ्री नंबर्स सिंगुलर इज टर्मरेट वाहिद और मुफरद द ड्यू अल और टू ऑफ एनी थिंग इज टर्मड तथनीत एंड मोर देन टू इज प्लूरल कॉल्ड जम उन एक्सप्लेन द प्रोनाउन अल इसम जमीर द प्रोनाउन इज अ वर्ड यूज इन प्लेस ऑफ अ नाउन फॉर एग्जाम्पल हुआ means he explain the relative pronouns al ismul mausul the relative pronouns are used as conjunction scroll right jam'un plural tathniyatun dual wahidun singular siwa jat mudakkarun muannas mudakkar masculine muannas feminine الذي اللذان الذين التي اللتان اللاتي الذي واحد سينجولر اللذان ديول تسنيا الذين جمع بلورال التي سينجولر اللتان ديول تسنيا اللاتي جمع بلورال explain the demonstrative pronouns explain the demonstrative pronouns الاسم الاشاره the demonstrative pronouns are used to indicate someone or something scroll right جمع plural تثنيه dual واحد singular هذا هذان هؤلاء هذا واحد هذان تثنيه هؤلاء جمع مؤنث هذه هاتان هؤلاء هذه هاتان هؤلاء explain the verbal subject al fa'il a noun noun phrase or pronoun representing the person or thing that performs the action of the verb as in qama khalidun qama khalidun means khalid stood explain the proxy explain the proxy subject na'i fa'il the proxy subject na'i fa'il is each object whose subject is elided and the object is put in the subject's place for example nusra saidun nusra saidun means said was helped said was helped explain the object al maful the object al maful is the noun upon which the subject's action occurs for example nasra zaidun bakran Nasra Zaidun Bakran means Zaid helped Bakar Zaid helped Bakar Explain the genitive nouns Explain the genitive nouns Huruf-e jarra The genitive nouns are 17 Ba wa ta wa qaf wa lam wa wa mundu mudkhala ruba hasha min ada fi an ila hatta ala which are the vowel sounds in arabic which are the vowel sounds in arabic there are three vowel sounds in arabic language that are al alif al waw al ya explain the word phrase al murakkab if two or more words are joined together it constitutes a phrase or a sentence jumlatun مركب تمت بالخير مع السلام الى اللقاء